What do we miss? Nothing much. Although you'd have had more invitations than I did. Have you thought about Matthew? Of course. But Aunt Rosalind... No, said she's written to me. I should pay no attention. But, Granny, she has got a point. Mary can't be completely naive. I don't need your help, thank you. Mary, listen to me. If you take Matthew now, when his whole future is at risk, he will love you to the end of his days. Why, Granny, you're a romantic. I've been called many things, but never that. And what happens if the baby's a boy and Matthew loses everything? Mary can always change her mind. But I can't do that to Matthew. It's not how we are together. No. No, I'm going upstairs to help Anna unpack. I'll come with you. Edith, why don't you go to? Sir Anthony Strelland was at Lady Wren's party. He asked after you. Is she really serious about him? Any port in a storm. Oh, by the way, I was right about my maid. She's leaving to get married. Well, how could you be so selfish? I do sympathise. Robert's always wanting me to get rid of O'Brien, but I can't face it. Anyway, she's so fond of me. Well, I thought Simmons was fond of me. What am I to do? Why don't I put an advertisement in the lady? It's always the best place to start. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you. I really must be going. Now, don't let Mary wait for the baby before she gives Matthew her answer. I'm sure it's another girl. I know those men of the moral high ground. If she won't say yes when he might be poor, he won't want her when he will be rich. Is it true you wrote to the Turkish ambassador about Kamal? Who told you? Someone who knows that you did. Then why are you asking? Because I wanted to give you one last chance to deny it. And what if I did? He had a right to know how his countrymen died. In the arms of a slut. How's that advertisement getting on for the new maid? Well, it's only just come out. William and I can manage here. Now go and tell Mrs. Bird we'll have our dinner in 20 minutes. Carson, be sure to say to Mrs. Bird the dinner was really delicious. Oh, thank you. So, how was the drive? I suppose it was they lovely. Are. <laughs> they are now. Only... When they're in London, at least. Yes? Well, I suspect this is going to be the, the coming thing. Well... He said he had a question for me. He told me he'd ask it at the garden party and he hopes I'll say yes. Yes, I could. Carson's very wary. You must think very carefully what your answer will be. Yes, I should think very carefully about a lot of things. Do your neighbours have one? Yes, they do. In London, anyway. Well, it seems very wise to get a telephone now. If there is a war, it may be very hard to have one installed in a private house. Well, let me show you where we're going to put it. Oh. First electricity in our telephones. Sometimes I feel as if I were living in a, an H.G. Wells novel. But the young are also calm about change, aren't they? Look at Matthew. I do admire him. Do you? What have I done wrong now? Oh, please. Don't pretend Mary's sudden reluctance can't be traced back to you. Well, I shall pretend it. I told her to take him. Your quarrel is with my daughter Rosamond, not me. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. 